Cheers, everybody. Welcome to a very hot and bothered JB on a very hot Saturday drinking beer. <laughs> Welcome to another beer review, and we've got a special one now. Uh, this is a birthday beer. Well, it's when you look at the beer name Vox, Vox or Vox or whatever, Vox I call it, you know, a very old term in beer. Long, rich history in the northeast of England, uh, probably out of Sunderland, of course. And, of course, they went through, I think, an ownership uh, change in the 80s. You know, anybody remember the Scorpion Lager they did? And let's be honest, some of the beers they did were quite, was quite ropey, <laughs> some, of the, some of the stuff. But um, what's happened is, past five years... Uh, a fella has taken the name up and brewed craft beer with with the name. And I have to say, not only has he brewed some fantastic beer, he's given the name Vaux a bit of a... It's given the name a bit of Vaux, a bit of air of better quality beer, you know. I'm not saying they brewed crap. They didn't brew crap all the time. There was some stuff which was... Stuff you wouldn't be proud of, but overall, you know, they were a local Sunderland brewery and you know, with a mixed bag of beers on their portfolio, you could say. Um, so for somebody local to Sunderland to take the name up, somebody who knows how to brew a good beer, and this is their fifth birthday since he did it, you know, you've got to applaud them. So we've got this is why I bought it, really, to, to, to help them celebrate their fifth year. Because the beers I've had have been fantastic. They've been really good. So we have got the Vox, Vox, or Vox V IPA, clocking at 6%. There you go. In a battered old silvery can. There you go. It must be hard to keep silver cans this, you know, gleaming. If you know what I mean. Because they get bashed about and that. It says, V is our modern hazy IPA. It has been brewed to celebrate our fifth birthday. He has been generously hopped with Idaho 7, Azaka Cryo and Citra. And has notes of tropical fruit and sweet citrus balanced by gentle bitterness. Great array of hops in there. Idaho 7, I love. Azaka, I, I love. Not, not too sure on the Azaka Cryo. We'll give that a world. The Citra, of course is very renowned hop uh, used in a lot of beers and they're based in Monk Street in Sunderland so yeah let's give this one a go like I say fifth birthday you know happy birthday to to you all at Vox um, they, like I say they've done some great great beers really enjoyed their beers um, my favorite Vox beer I've had in the past five years I would have to say is it that stormy petrol which was outstanding. And I've had a couple of good... I've had a good charity beer from them as well. Um, so, yeah, they've done some great stuff. So, let's get a whiff. Nice tropical note. Straight away. Not really getting much else. But well, let's just pour it out like you do. And give it, you know, give it a, a fair appraisal. The smell was just straight tropical. It wasn't really, for me, um, juicy or, you know. Let's stick it over here. What are you doing? So, as you can see, solid white head. Slightly haziness to this. So, this is a limited edition beer. Uh, I don't know how much it's limited to. This was picked up at the Lost Robot. Um, I don't know if he's got any left, to be honest. Actually, I didn't notice when I went in yesterday. So, <laughs> you might not be able to pick it up. So, beer in a glass, as you can see. Um, hazy, solid, uh, white head. Big cloud of yeast in there. It looks great. Let's get a whiff. Yeah. You're getting a grassy... Grassy tropicalness for me. It's it's you can, it's not full on tropical now. It's it was from the can, but from the glass, you're getting a hint of a, a grassy note there. Grass cuttings. Smells decent. So, gonna wish Vaux 
happy fifth birthday. I've enjoyed your beers. Here's to the future and some more great beer for me. Cheers. You pick up the cryo straight away. That's what sings to me, that cryo hop just comes through. Um, like a sweet sweetness to it for me. You know, for me, when I've had beers with cryo in, it's like a coconutty, sweety type note for me. And always... You know, it might not even be the cryo hop. I'm not that much of an expert, but I, I do notice in a lot of cryo, cryo beers, this coconutty sweetness, which just rings out. Um, you do to get some bitterness thrown in, of course you do. Front end, wave of tropicalness. Not too much. You pick up some hot, Dankness, slight hot dankness with a hint of grassness, and you get this cryo, slight sweet edge to this. On the back end, it's a nice gentle bitterness, it's not too full on. The mouthfeel, um, is lingering, softer, slightly hard, more soft than hard. But overall, yeah, um, it's thick, it's dense, it's tasty. Body of the beer, it's full of great flavour. It's a great beer. It's a great beer. Um, does it feel like a birthday beer? Does this feel, beer feel like a special beer? Um, this is This is the issue I have. And it's no real criticism because the beers I've had from Vox in the past have been fabulous. This is this is a, this is still a fabulous beer. Um, they're good brewery. They're good brewers. But for a birthday beer, it has to go a little bit beyond. It has to be wow. It hasn't got the wow, but it's good. It's really good. Um, that makes sense. You know, for a beer. You know, if, if I had a brewery and I hit a landmark in five, ten years, I would want that tenth year or fifth year beer to be wow. You're not going to forget that beer. And that's the problem I have. It's a great, great beer. Full of flavour. Would I buy it again? Yep, yeah, I would. It's great stuff. Will I remember it in five years' time if I'm still here doing this channel? I think I might be. <laughs> I might be a little bit fatter, a little bit more greyer. You know, will I remember the 10th, you know, when I get to the 10th beer, the 10th IPA from Vox, will I remember the, the 5th IPA, the 5th year, the V IPA from Vox? hard to tell but it is a cracking beer it's nice but it doesn't feel wow it just feels great it feels that's that's about it for me but it's good stuff it is good stuff they are a fantastic brewery um you know we have to applaud great breweries on this channel we've got to because breweries need all the support from everybody you me everyone and yes sometimes they might come out with a stinker but you still got to support them if they don't get support they can't carry on you know jobs are dependent on them you know so keep drinking your beer and keep supporting them so one more for the road it is enjoyable stuff it is nice mouthfeel it is a nice mouthfeel on that Boys and girls, Vox and their happy birthday beer. Their VIPA, thumbs up from me. Go out and pick one up. Send them some love. See you on me next one. Bib, bib.